Hey, what's going on guys? I am here in my workshop and I am switching gears to my archery equipment. Uh, right now I am building some arrows. So I'm going from the ground up on some shafts. I will show you what I have going on here. Okay, so I've been previously shooting gold tip, kinetic, pierce, okay? Awesome arrows, really good. They've been shooting awesome out of my bow, which is uh, a Hoyt Pro Defiant 2017. Got a Montana black gold sight with adjustable pin and uh, six inch dovetail, uh, whisker biscuit. I got a bee stinger stabilizer. Anyway, so that just gives you an idea about my setup. So uh, the gold tip, Gold tip pierce is 9.1 grains per inch. Now this season, I really want to focus on getting a little heavier arrow, getting more kinetic energy um, out of my equipment. So I found the Full Metal Jackets, which I've shot before. Uh, last year, I was using Full Metal Jackets Deep Six. And so I got a dozen of the new Full Metal Jacket shafts. Okay. These are the five millimeter FMJ shafts, which are in the throwback uh, pattern, uh, which is hilarious because I totally remember this throwback uh, back when Easton was making these aluminum arrows. I believe they're called like the Game Getters or Game Getter Twos or whatever, but awesome colors. I love it. These are 12.0 grains per inch. So the heaviest arrow that I could find, um, outside of like, you know, ridiculous expensive setups. Um, and I like them, they're tough. Like I said, I've shot full metal jags before. I think they're tough arrows. You gotta watch it, they do bend a little bit, but uh, I'm not too worried about that. Uh, I check them and, and do all that. So, I have the shaft. What I do, I'm taking the, the factory, factory knock off. Okay, I'm putting on a, a nocturnal. A green nocturnal, which is 20 grams, or 20 grains, I'm sorry. I've got my scale here. Okay, so I know, what I do is I weigh out arrows, and I know exactly what I'm shooting, so. Yeah, so these knocks are 20 grains. This arrow is, um, let's see. Gotta do some math, uh, but it's about 330 grains. Um, something like that. Um, you do 12 times 28, um, 200, 280. Um, so somewhere around 300 grains. Okay. Um, next is I've just rolled on some blazers. Okay. Some just short little blazer, two inches. I'm going hot pink. They're super easy to see, uh, not only in the target, but when you shoot one, uh, say you get a pass through, that's also a huge advantage if your state lets you use nocturnals is, man, when you lose an arrow um, and you have a nocturnal, it's like, I'm talking shoot through an animal or shoot over an animal, you don't know if you hit an animal, you, and as things lit up and you can't find it, you go back at night and if it's not buried somewhere deep in some, you know, bush or under the ground, you're going to find your arrow. So all these things are just trying to give me a leg up. I think hot pink is really easy to see. Nocturnals are really easy to see. And, um, they, uh, they are a little heavier than like your normal knock. So, uh, one thing to be careful of if you're, if you're going to go nocturnal is not to just shoot them, uh, like at, at wild game, you have to shoot you have to practice with them too. So that's kind of the deal. Uh, regular knocks are a lot lighter. So a lot of guys, they think, well, they can just switch out nocturnals when they go hunting. So they see where the, where the arrow hits. Um, I wouldn't suggest that if you're shooting over 30 yards, you're going to see a difference. So, um, always remember that practice with what you're going to hunt with. Um, most of the time, I mean, you know, when it's 3d season in the summer, kind of like it is right now, um, yeah, just practice with whatever. But if we, before you go on a hunt, make sure you're hunting with the right setup. So I'm putting this on there. So I'm going, I'm going uh, nocturnals green because they're super easy to see too. Um, little blazers pink. Uh, these arrows are 28 and a half inches, five millimeter full metal jackets. 
Um, and then here's where the kinetic energy is going to come in. Um, and the FOC, your front of center. Okay, so I've got these brass hit inserts. Okay, they are 75 grains full. Drop that one. Got another one. This little notch right here, if you break it off right there, it's 50 grains. I'm going to roll and I'm going to test a couple arrows at full 75 grains and see how it works. Um, I've got one cooking right here. I'm going to switch it up. My, uh, my fletching jig is, is helical. It's right helical, so it's got a slight twist to it. Um, nothing super, super drastic, but uh, it's, it's, it's got a twist enough. So I'm going to clean that up a little bit. Um, so I'm going to roll one right here. Got some, got some of my good, good glue. There's a lot of good glue you can use. Uh, probably my favorite is Goat Tough, but I ran out of Goat Tough, so now I'm just using really, really good super glue. Mess, but it's okay. I'll scrape some of that off. All right. So it kind of takes a while. You got to wait, you know, a couple minutes in between each each uh, each blazer or whatever. Um, so the idea of making my own arrows is just having a custom setup that fit my goal. So I want a heavy arrow. I want good penetration. I want an arrow that I don't hesitate to go deer hunting with. I don't hesitate to go elk hunting with. I don't have to change setups. I don't have to change broadheads. Um, so there's some advantages to that. Uh, you know, having a real light arrow can limit you a little bit and can limit penetration. You go faster, um, but it can limit penetration and, and especially if you hit some bone. So I'm trying to get a, to a point where my setup is if I accidentally shoot a deer in the shoulder that it will still kill it because um, this bow with this setup has the kinetic energy to do that. It has the kinetic energy to pass through a deer shoulder. Um, I'm not going to say it can do that with an elk. I don't, there's not a whole lot of setups out there that can go through the shoulder blade of an elk. Um, I've seen a lot of elk hit in the shoulder with an arrow. Uh, very few good results. So, um, I never intend to shoot an elk in the shoulder, but a deer, especially a coos deer, if it happens, um, I want to know that uh, my setup and, and my uh, arrow is going to do the job. Uh, broadheads, you know, I'm going to experiment with broadheads right now. Um, right now, I just have on a 100 grain uh, Montec. I don't plan on hunting with these. I have hunted with Montecs. I don't mind them. They're super tough. They just don't get sharp enough for me. Um, but, man, they're tough. They, they last a long time. So, um, I'm going to try out some slick tricks this year. Uh, you know, I shot a deer at, at 70 yards last season with a Rage two blade expandable. Totally just trashed this deer. I shot him kind of quartering, quartering to me. It hit right in the front of his chest, broke through his sternum and broke his back shoulder at 70 yards. And I was shooting a 60 pound bow then. So um, and I was shooting full metal jackets. So that's why I'm, I've had good, uh, good experience with full metal jackets and the heavier arrow. So anyway, I might just try, try some slick tricks the other shoot. Um, I shot a javelina this last season with a rage as well. Uh, both the animals died. They died quickly. Um, but I just want to see what, you know, just see what everything shoots. Uh, I'm not getting too crazy. Um, so yeah, that's my setup. If you have any questions or you have any suggestions, um, feel free to let me know. Um, this arrow uh, is going to end up weighing right around 550 grains. Um, and front of center is going to be right around like the 12 inch mark. So that's kind of what my goal is. I, I, didn't, I didn't have it like I needed to be 550. I was like, let's see how heavy I can get an arrow, um, you know, without doing too much crazy stuff. Just throw a brass insert in there, you know, doing stuff like that. Like I'm not gonna put 160 grain broadhead on this arrow, you know, just to get some uh, some weight forward. I, I want an arrow to fly good and, and, and fly flat, but still have the kinetic energy to rock, to rock a deer in the shoulder or rock right through an elk at 60 yards. So 
let me know. I'm always open to suggestions. Um, I'm always learning and always trying out new stuff. So um, I'm going to go shoot these after I get them dialed in and I'll let you know how they shoot. And hopefully I will have a report at some time during the season of how they perform on an animal that's bigger than a raccoon or a jackrabbit. Um, so yeah, so that's what I got going. Let me know if you got any questions, if you got any suggestions, always open to it. Um, I hope you guys all have a good bow season, whether you're shooting, um, a black bear out of a stand that's, uh, in New Jersey, or you're hunting out in Utah, chasing, uh, mule deer, or you're chasing coos up in the hills with us, um, or big muley down in the desert with us or up in the hills too. So, um, anyway, hope any info I gave you helped. I just want to let you know what my setup is. Talk to you later.